Hi, I'm Donovan, and I like Minecraft. And so today, I wanted to show you an easy way to 3D model this Minecraft scene using your own reference library that you can build in SketchUp. In my house, we all love playing Minecraft together. And recently, my son was eating some Minecraft cereal. And on the back of the box was this scene that when I looked at it, I thought, I wonder if I could build that in SketchUp. And so today I wanted to go through the process of creating a reference library of all the different Minecraft bricks that we're gonna need to try to recreate this scene. To start this process, I'm gonna open SketchUp and the first thing I'm gonna need to do is draw a rectangle. Canonically, a Minecraft block is one meter squared. So this is gonna make this really easy and I'm just gonna type in one comma one for my rectangle. Now I'm working in Imperial and not metric, but since scale isn't critical with this model, I'm just going to translate the one meter to one foot. Using the push pull tool, I'm gonna to pull that square up one foot. And now I have my base building block for this Minecraft scene. To start creating my reference library, I'm gonna start making copies of these blocks. And then I need to start applying some textures. The main place to get textures for SketchUp is 3D Warehouse, but there are a bunch of places online that you can find different textures that you can use in your model. But since I need specific textures for Minecraft, I went and found a library of block textures on the Minecraft Wiki. So I just need to pull in the ones that I need into SketchUp. I'm gonna start with a grass block. I'm gonna go into the Materials panel, the Textures tab, and select color and new texture. After selecting my texture, it's giving me the options for size. And since everything is one foot by one foot, that's gonna be the standard moving forward. Now I just apply the texture to each of the sides. And then just repeat that process for the grass on the top and the dirt on the bottom. Now that I have my block, I need to hide these edges. So I'm gonna select them right click and then select hide. Now that that looks like a Minecraft block, I'm going to select all of it, right click and turn it into a component. With my first block done, now I just need to copy and paste this process to create blocks for dirt, water, stone, clay, ore, oak logs, treetops, oak planks, clouds, and a pumpkin. There are other elements in the scene like the stairs, the track pieces, and the fence pieces that we'll get to a little bit later. With the library that I have now, I can start to build the scene. Using the move tool and hitting the modifier key to copy, I can click and drag blocks from my library and then start building the scene. Since all the shapes are squares, assembling a Minecraft scene is surprisingly easy. And the reason for that is that you can snap to corners in SketchUp. So all you need to do when copying and moving a new block into position is snap one corner of one block to one corner of another and making alignment really easy. So if you're new to SketchUp and want a simple project, making a Minecraft model is a really good place to start. Now granted, this process is pretty repetitive, which is why I'm speeding up the video. One of the great things about using Minecraft as a reference for building a model in SketchUp is that just like in the game, the building blocks are pretty simple, but the things that you could build with those building blocks are truly limitless. And so I kept checking my reference image on the back of the cereal box to try and match the block placement as best that I could. And I kept doing this until I realized that I'd run into a problem. So the problem that I've run into is kind of twofold. One, it is sometimes pretty hard to gauge a 3D model from a 2D drawing. Uh, you only have one perspective to work with and so I was guessing on some of the block placements based on the perspective in the picture and I got it as best as I could but the main problem that I kept running into is that I, I don't think this is an actual 
Minecraft model. And the reason why I say that is because even though I matched the block placement as best as I could, according to this picture, some things just don't line up, especially like the rails in the model. They, they really just don't line up. But you know what? That's okay. I got it as close as I could. And it's all part of the learning process when you're learning 3D modeling. And this is really good practice to model for fun using something that you enjoy, which for me in this case is Minecraft.